Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory. I give you honor for this day. As I share your word, use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Florence Minor, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, a program of One Word Digital Media and I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message will be uh, <laughs> You Can Be Assured of Victory If You Praise and Worship. You can never miss with praise and worship the victory, the joy, the peace. My verses of reverence will be from 1 Samuel 17, verse 1 to 3, and I will read in Jesus' name. Now the Philistines gathered that their armies together to battle, and were gathered at Sukkot, which belongs to Judah. Hmm, not there. They encamped between Sukkot and Azekah, in Ephes, Damim, and so, and the men of Israel were gathered together, and they encamped in the valley of Era and drew up in battle array against the Philistines. The Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, with a valley between them. This is the story of the Philistines when later on we see Goliath coming in to fight, to fight with David, and David gained the victory. There is very important reason why names are considered. Names are very significant also. They gathered into a place that belonged to Judah. And Judah in Hebrew means praise. If you are ever at a place that is called Judah, that is a place, that is a place of praising and worshiping, you can be assured you will gain the victory. They, it, they, they never seemed like there'd be any victory, even though I'm not going to go that far. But this is just like uh, before David comes in to fight with Goliath and he won. He did not win because he was strong, but he won because he belonged to the tribe of Judah, the tribe of praising, the tribe of worshiping. My brother, my sister, if you are to overcome any Goliath in your life, if you are to overcome any battle in your life, if you have to overcome any discouragement within your mind, you need to be a person of worship and praise. First benefit of worship and praise, it gets off burden from your soul. You get joy for no and seek unspeakable for no reason that you can be able to explain to somebody except you. I don't know about other people, but if I go to God and I feel so heavy even to pray, I can't bring it to prayer and I start singing a worship song. Oh my heart gets connected. I want to encourage you, be a person who desires to worship and praise God. You don't praise God or worship him because things are okay. No, you worship and praise him for who he is, that he is the creator of heaven and earth, that he is Emmanuel, God with you, God with us. Amen to that. We all want to be victorious. Run to be a praising person. Run to be a worshipping person. Your enemies may come. They may be as big as God yet, but only by the power of God when you praise that you'll be able to overcome. Can you desire this day to be a praiser? Can you desire this day to be a worshipper? And I don't mean watch when we are up, when we are there worshipping in the multitude when you are alone. I won't believe that, that even though David I came with a, and uh, he was on his way. He had just come to bring food to his brothers. That is far much later. Maybe I can cover that later on. But I would encourage you to read about the story of Goriath, David and Goriath. He came, but because he is a worshiper, he was a worshiper. He used to praise God. By the way, the book of Psalms is one of the longest, and Psalms is about singing. So he was a worshiper. He was a praiser. That's why we see David, even when he sinned, because of his worship, he would be reminded to repent before God. And no wonder God called him a man after my own heart. I'm talking about Judah, a person who knows how to praise God in the midst of chaos. 
idols, a person who knows to worship God when things are not okay, a person who is able to tell God, I still love you when every other person is against you. When people look at you like you are shadow, you know you are important before God and you can tell him, thank you, daddy, I worship you. May the Lord help you. I hope you'll be encouraged to start worshiping. After all, we just celebrated Easter. He's risen. He's risen indeed. And he's going to go with you all the way. He'll never leave you, nor forsake you. May the Lord bless you. And until next time, I am your presenter, Florence Minor. I will celebrate your moment with joy. But I will also encourage you. You can continue listening to these messages and others by inspired men and women of God by dialing 563 909. You can also t tune in, lead you, and search One Word Miracle Radio. You can also do it the smart way, and also, especially the young one, you want to be smart with a smartphone. With your smartphone, at the tip of your finger, go to your uh, Play Store and download uh, an app, one, uh, and download One Word Digital Media and you'll be blessed. And until next time, this is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.